guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Grayson who is in the hospital right now. He's not feeling too good. Grayson, if you're watching this, my man, get well soon um, and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We're playing some more Clash Royale. As you can see, I'm at 45-13, guys. I've been pushing up. Um, been having a little bit of fun, but obviously whenever you're this high and you're going up, and you're pushing, uh, it can be very stressful, uh, because pushing is very try hard, like you're trying very hard, and when you still fail, it can be defeating. So, um, what am I doing today? I'm gonna show y'all, um, a couple replays, then we're going to get some live stuff rolling. Um, also, today, the, is Friday, and the 40% off G Fuel code is ending, but we are gonna be doing a giveaway, so look out for that video 50 winners, an iPad, a year supplies of G Fuel, a whole bunch of iTunes codes. Ridiculous. It's going to be awesome. Um, I want to mention something else real quick before we get into this. I show replays so that I can explain stuff better. Um, that's why I show replays and live stuff. I never just do replays because I know a lot of you guys like live gameplay, okay? But I just want you to understand my reasoning behind showing replays is it's easier for me to talk and focus and explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how I'm countering things, etc., etc., compared to when I'm playing live and I'm not explaining that stuff. So just keep that in mind. Um, instead of saying, why so many replays, say, just be positive and say, hey, I love the live gameplay. Um, I learned something from the replays, but live gameplay is my favorite. <laughs> something like that. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so this first guy, uh, TMD Larry, he's actually at 4,600, okay? This is one of the highest guys that I've faced so far. He has a skeleton army in his deck, which is very, very odd to me. Um, I, I didn't really understand it or get it, but whatever. Um, he's going to drop off his miner over here, and I'm going to go ahead and watch this. We're going to send over this and this, and boom, there's that. And we're just going to zap all of that away, guys, and we're just, we're just going to melt that tower down on the first push. The first push, and that tower's down. Uh, so that was great. <laughs> I was definitely happy with that. Here comes his goblin barrel. We're going to go ahead and drop off our furnace over here. It's going to go over, and uh, one of them is going <clears> to <throat> do some work. And then it's going to head over to the other side. Now, watch this rocket. I'm pretty sure that he shoots this rocket. Um, or right there, he was seeing if he could hit both, and he couldn't do it. We're going to go cannon mini pack up, boom, and we're going to draw that hog rider over. Um, and then those minions are going to continue to do some work, but we do have the fire spirits coming out of that furnace. Guys, the furnace right now is strong. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. It's doing some serious work for me. Um, I'm waiting for the fire spirits to come out to build with them. Right here, he just used up a lot of elixir. We're going to give him a little bit of a thanks there, and we're going to push with all of this. So he does have arrows. He's going to shoot them all the way back here. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, send over our hog and our goblin barrel, I believe. Um, is that what I do? Yeah, so hog goblin barrel right here. He's going to go straight for that inferno tower. Has nothing to counter the goblins that are just going to town on his tower right now. Um, getting it down to 12.33. So I'm feeling super confident at this point. Um, again, the... Uh, the <laughs> the furnace not the furnace the um the skeleton army is so interesting to me i haven't seen it uh on a level 13 in a very long time i see it on my lower level account but i don't see it up here that much so we're gonna send our mini pekka over here and we've got this look at this this that was a great use uh right there but he does however miss those minions so we're gonna go ahead drop all this off and we're gonna get over there we're gonna zap him i mean it's just done it's done so now, we're definitely feeling good. 38 seconds left. He's going to have to do something absolutely ridiculous to win right here. We'll go ahead and drop off this. <clears throat> and he's going to go ahead, send over his goblin barrel. And uh, I'm just going to give it to him because I'm not really too worried about it. He's going to arrow straight down on his tower right there, surprisingly hitting everything. Didn't realize that it was that good. Um, so right there, I was like, well, this could be bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, drop off our miner, though. And, of course, we do have... Uh, the zap spell as well. 10 seconds left. Uh uh. Not going anywhere. We'll go ahead and give him a good game right there, guys. Feeling good after that one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all one more replay of this deck in action. Um, it's been really good and it's been working amazingly for me. So we're facing another minor deck here. Um, now, my deck, guys, all of you should be able to use it unless you don't have like the furnace or the, an upgraded poison or something like that. 
Um, so all of you, all of you can use this deck. Use it. Let me know how it works. Uh, tweet pictures at me with uh, however many you win in a row, etc. That kind of stuff. Um, just let me know because I, I, I want to know if you guys are liking decks that I make, if you use them, etc., etc. Um, we're going to go ahead and do some work right over here. And uh, that princess just, I don't know. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but we're fine. We're just kind of cycling through some stuff right here. Um, he's going to drop off minions and uh, miner right here. You can see it already coming. And we'll go ahead and go uh, with this. And we'll go ahead and, yep, zap that. Boom, 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 boom. And look at this. We're going to go left here. Guys, one of the best things you can do with the furnace is if you get two of them down, uh, your opponent's in trouble. They're in trouble. Uh, if you get two of them down, because the tower can only shoot one of them, and then uh, it shoots the other one once, and that jumps, and then the other ones are too close, so they jump. And furnaces just do work. They really do do work to towers. Um, so we'll go ahead and take out uh, this little lady right here. Looks like he's going to preemptively drop off his cannon, uh, which I'm totally fine with because we can just let its life waste. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this, actually. Send all this over. He's going to drop off some goblins in the back. Not too sure why. I'm going to go ahead and poison all of that. And uh, our miner is going to get to work. Oh, not our miner. Our minions are going to get to work right there. Um, go ahead and drop off this uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. in the back because I just had way too much elixir. I didn't know what to do with it. And uh, boom, here we go. We're going to go ahead and push right here. I'm going to drop off a poison spell. He's going to drop off a P.E.K.K.A. And watch this. I was a little bit confused about this right here. Uh, no, that wasn't what I was confused about. Boom, get out of here. We're doing work. We're taking. I was thinking of another battle right there. So many of these just blend together. Um, guys, Clash Royale is seriously like a drug to where it's like, I know I shouldn't take this. Um, and by the way, never do drugs. <laughs> um, I know I shouldn't take this or I know I shouldn't play this game right now because it's making me mad, but I'm going to do it anyways, even though it's dumb. <laughs> uh, that's how it is for me. Like I literally just play even though I shouldn't and it's just so bad for me. So we're going to come up in here. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to get close to getting a shot off. We're going to take off that shot right there and 30 seconds left, guys. Feeling real good. He's trying his best. He is trying his best right now um, to take us out. And the mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to go around to the back, making the goblins target the tower right there. And I was like, I'm sorry. That was the route that you decided to go? Um, going to go ahead and poison that tower and uh, try and get some damage done to it. Look at that. I mean, we're, 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 we're just coming after it. Like, he was so confident that he was about to tie it up down there in the bottom. And I'm just going to leave it alone because it's like, we got double. We're doing good. So, we are at 45-13. Is that what it is? 45-13? Let's see. Um, yeah, 45-13. Currently, locally, uh, in the U.S., even though I think there's people in here that set their server to something else, we're 24th. And I don't even know if we're top a hundred, if we're a top 200 guys anymore. Uh, yeah, look at that, 198. There's so many people um, up here that are maxed out. Like so, a, a lot of people say like the only reason you're up there is because you pay to win, and it's like yeah, but you don't. It's it shouldn't be called pay to win. It should be called pay to play with all the cards because that's what I'm doing. I paid to play with max cards, um, and I'm facing other people with max cards. So does that mean that because I got all the max cards and I paid for them that I'm going to win? No. So the logic behind that is kind of dumb, uh, especially when you're fully maxed out. Now, at lower levels, if you pay and you get a little bit above people, then yeah, it can give you an advantage. But when you're facing other max people, it's not pay to win, it's, it's pay to play. Um, so here we go. Let's see what we can do here. A little bit nervous. Going up against C. Lopez, 46, 41, guys. Um... This is going to be if we. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try and jinx us or anything. Um, honestly, he's probably using giant poison, uh, which obviously I'm not gonna be a fan of. Um, but let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So I am going to drop off my hog rider and my goblin barrel. And oh, nice. So he's going that route. Okay. And let's go ahead and poison all of this. And oh, it's not gonna slow it down enough, ladies and gentlemen. It is not going to slow it down enough my computer just went to sleep i'm not a fan of that come on wake up please there we go i had to make sure that we could see everything he's gonna drop off all of that over there and um what are we gonna do so we're gonna go ahead drop off our minion horde here and as you saw he does have a miner so we have to be ready for that um but i feel like i just feel like this deck is working so well. i'm not gonna there we go so he just poisoned that 
Um, which would have been very bad if we put down our furnace. So I'm very happy that we did indeed not put it down. He wasn't able to touch a tower or anything like there. So boom, we're going to go ahead and do this. And let's go over here. Um, and uh, that's going to go take that out. And we are going to go and do this. And look at that. Okay, so he's going to drop off the Inferno right there. Let's go ahead and bow. Boom. Oh, that was such a bad zap, Molt. Come on, man. We're not even going to get off a single shot. That was such a bad zap. I saw the skeletons coming towards him. Completely screwed me up. Um, let's go ahead and what do I want to do here? Um, I'm thinking that I want to just send my minion horde over there. Um, no, you know what? Let's let's make him let's make him use it again. Let's make him use it again over here. Um, he's literally just going straight up minor. There we go. So he's gonna go and do that, and we're gonna go this route. And I am indeed going to come over and poison all of this. He's going to zap right there. Oh, no. But we should be able to take out the mini P.E.K.K.A. with those minions. And we're going to do some good damage to... Come on, come on, minions. Oh, almost got off another shot on that minion right there, guys. Let's go ahead and send these guys over. And we're going to mess him up just a little bit here. I feel like he may have just used his zap spell. Um, so we are going to send that over. Oh, he's going to jump in the back. Yes, he did miss his zap, though. So now we know that we can be a little bit trickier with him. Um, I'm going to go straight after this, guys. We're going to go Hog Rider over, and uh, he's going to go ahead and poison that. And let's go ahead and zap all of this as well. Um, that mini... Oh, man. Gosh, it was so well played. All right, boom. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. We have two furnaces down. We can go ahead and do this, and we can do this. He's still trying his best to get over there. If we can drop off a cannon right here, we'll be good to go. Um, a little bit of zap action right there, and boom, a little bit of zap action right there as well. And, uh, no! The mini Pekka! Oh my gosh, take it out! Oh my goodness, that was so freaking close. I did not like that one bit. We're going hard right here, guys. We are going super hard right here. Um, he is going to zap, and we are going to get all this over there. Come on, Hog Rider. Oh my gosh, Hog Rider, get there. Hog Rider, get there! Don't, don't give me that. Do not give me that. No! He did, look at that. Did he just leave the match? 186, will that do it for us? No. Oh my gosh, he rejoined, he rejoined, he rejoined. We gotta poison this ASAP. He's sending his miner over. Come on. One, two, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh my goodness. I don't think he got disconnected. I think that he was being a jerk and he just got punished for it. I literally think that he thought he was about to win and he just left or something like that. Wow! 45, 53 guys. That was ridiculous. What was his deck? Like, what? Inferno, Mini P.E.K.K.A. So the whole time, he didn't send his Mini P.E.K.K.A. And then that last one, when the Mini P.E.K.K.A. got there, that was what completely screwed me up. Because we had to drop off that Hog Rider. We had to drop off that Cannon. And it just didn't go well. Let's battle one more time here, guys. Let's see what we can make happen. 4487. This guy is... I mean, I guess he's less than 100 below me. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Golly. I don't know why it's so... Like, that's so obnoxious. And com He just got so freaking lucky. Oh, my gosh. He just got so unbelievably lucky with that right there. Boom. We're going to do this. Those minions are going to kill that, that baby dragon. Um, let's zap. Zap, 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 zap. Boom. Yes. Minions are going to get in there. They're going to take that tower out, ladies and gents. And uh, that tower is done. That tower is completely done. All we have to do over here on the right is be a little bit careful. I'm not going to drop off yet because that's not going to do that much damage. So we'll go ahead and go back here. We'll kill this. That rage is going to be bad, though. I'm not a fan of that. Um, but it's still not going to do that much damage. And here we go with this. Come on. Come on. And one. And get over there. Get over there. Get over there, too. Nice. There we go. All right. So we're okay. He's crying. Uh do your thing my man cry all you want to um so we are going to say, stop crying you're being obnoxious oh my gosh he's being so obnoxious right now um boom so we're gonna go ahead and all right there goes that that's totally fine what does anybody else not see how annoying this is that he's crying like that um all right so we are going to go and throw a cannon right here as well and let's go ahead all right so there's that we're gonna go ahead and poison all of this and now that that baby dragon is distracted, we're going to go ahead and drop off all of this. And he's going to arrow. That's fine because it's still distracted. Here comes the miner early. Oh, no. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That was, that was well played, but the zap is going to take it out. And uh, that's going to slow him down there just a little bit. We do, however, need to be aggressive here. We've got to be aggressive here. Um, I don't know what else he has, but he is going to be trying his best to cycle through. Um, I do need to be a little bit more careful 
Um, let's go ahead and go with this and cannon. And oh my god. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. Come on. Yeah, so he's going to go down right there. And let's go ahead and do uh, this and that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm touching, I'm touching the wrong stuff, guys. I'm literally not playing well right now at all. Um, I'm freaking out. We need to get this down here. Um, and we need to drop off another furnace. We need to drop off another cannon over here. We have 30 something seconds. That cannon was not placed off well. We need to slow all of this down. The miner's coming in down here. Um, 24 seconds left, and I do not like what's happening. We'll go ahead and zap. Oh, he's gonna take it down. No, come on, man. That's this. His deck is obnoxious. Holy cow, is his deck obnoxious? Um, it's just so annoying. Whoa, 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 what in the world? I, since when did they do that much damage? I would be using that right now if I'd known that they do a billion damage in two seconds. Goodness. We'll go ahead and zap right there. I've got to cycle back through to my, zip, to my zap as well. 50. We're done. We're done. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. There's, no, there's literally nothing I can do. I can drop off another furnace. He's going to just take that out very, very easily. Here comes the miner. Um, there's nothing I can do right now. Come on, 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 come on. All right, 36 seconds. Um, what do we want to do here? I'm going to go ahead and poison back here and send off our hog rider. We got to try and keep him back here, guys. That's all we have to do and go boom and zap all that. He's going to freak out just a little bit there. Um, and wherever his, uh, where is it going? Where is it going? We're going to go here and we're going to go here with the mini P.E.K.K.A. And uh, it's going to take him out and 12 seconds left. And let's go ahead and go hog rider, distract him, make everything come and chase the hog. 10 seconds and boom furnace that was so close guys i did not like that one bit oh wow so that that was so close that deck it was one of the strongest tournament decks for a while i did not realize that the lava pups are freaking absurd <laughs> they're so ridiculous um let's get one more live attack in here um see what we can get going uh, I may be pushing my luck here just a little bit, playing a little bit too long, um, but we shall see, uh, indeed, my dear friends, if that is the case. I do most certainly hope that it is not the case. So he's going to go straight off the bat and do that. Um, we're going to go with the fire spirits on this next one, and boom and boom, and send all of that in. What's he got for us? Oh, he's got a prince. Let's go ahead and zap that. Um, that was probably not the best idea to do, actually. Um, unless this prince comes and he's the prince is gonna come in and kind of do a little suicide thing right there. The cannon's not gonna be able to do that much damage. It's gonna go down really, really quickly. But there we go. That worked. Uh, actually, that worked really, really well, guys. Um, so we have our mini Pekka. He doesn't know that we have a mini Pekka yet. Um, I kind of really, really, really want to drop off this other furnace right down here. Uh, just because it does end up doing a lot of damage. Um, let's go and do... Boom. We're going to drop off this minion horde right now on all of this. We're going to go here. And hopefully we can get that mini P.E.K.K.A.s down. Nice. And the giant should... Don't let him get off another shot. Okay. You know that that's not true. That is not true at all. We're going to go ahead and zap as well. Um, Furnace is going to come around. And boom. We're going to head over here because he zapped our minions earlier. So we should be able to get in there and do something with this. Nice, come on. There we go. Getting a little bit of damage done. Not too much. Here comes the furnace going after it. We're going to draw the um, giant over here with the cannon. And, of course, giant poison, guys. Literally, this has this right here is what the game has come to, my dear friends. Skill at its finest. I absolutely hate this deck right now. I think that it is unbelievably overpowered. It needs to be nerfed. Without a doubt, it's it like it, it's honestly ridiculous. I have been up two towers on someone, and all they have to do is drop off giant poison and just leave the game, and they win. Like it, it's literally mind blowing to me. Um, so yeah, I definitely have not been too much of a fan of this lately. Um, can I go ahead and zap him? Don't tell me that many peg is about to do anything over there, okay? Because I don't believe it for two seconds. Um, there we go. All right, so yeah, yeah, get there, get there, you get there, you get there, you get there. I'm down with that, and watch this. We're going to go ahead and do this, and he is going to zap, and we're going to go and throw this down there, and he is going to be in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Um, boom, get there. That's what's up. Now, let's go ahead and do this, and let's go ahead and 
um, do this cannon right here, even though he's going to end up uh, just being able to do a lot of damage to all of that. We're going to have to go here. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. Zap! Oh, zap, please! Oh, that, that tower's down. I hate this game. <laughs> I mean, look at this! Like, the giant, honestly, let's be honest here for two seconds, okay? Just for two seconds. The giant is way too strong for five elixir. He's too strong for five elixir. Like, let's be honest, okay? He does way too much damage. He has way too much health for the cost of... Literally, let's go look at some of the other things in the game that cost five elixir. A minion horde. You can arrow those, okay? You can use three elixir to take out an entire minion horde. Um, the elixir pump. You can rocket it. Can you rocket a giant? Pfft, doubtful. Okay, Inferno Tower. Can that take out a giant? Yes. What if it's poisoned and zapped? No. All of which continue to do damage to your thing. Um, so I just, I just have a problem with him right now. I think that he's a little bit too strong. Um, have I played with him? Yes, but him mixed with poison is just ridiculous. So, we're at 45-23, up a total of 10 trophies, um, since the beginning of the video. But, thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think is working right now, what's not working. Let me know if you think giant poison is too strong, or if you're somebody that uses it. Um, I don't personally use it because I don't like to do what everyone else is doing. That's boring to me. Um, but if you guys do because it helps you win, by all means do it. Um, I still think it's too strong. But thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on. All right? Peace.